Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and I want to show you the Roberta Williams Anthology. This is a big box PC game that got a quite small release, so it's quite rare and it also is filled to the brim with amazing games. This is uh, uh, how do you say, an anthology, of course, of the games that Roberta Williams wrote. And Roberta Williams is the, the woman behind the King's Quest series, um, among others. So, on the front of the box here it has a list of the games that are in the set. And let me read them out to you. Mystery House, Wizard and the Princess, Time Zone, and King's Quest 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and also a preview of 8, as the sticker says. Then the Colonel's Bequest, the Dagger of Amun Ra, and Mixed Up Mother Goose, and Phantasmagoria. Mother Goose, that's actually a game I played a lot as a kid. It was really cool, where you have to find items and uh, put them back where they belong. So the back of the box shows. Uh, a journey that echoes the evolution of computer games. Well, Roberta Williams really played a big role in the evolution of computer games, and uh, she was uh, one of the Sierra Online. Um, how do you say they they started Sierra Online, if I'm not mistaken? And uh, here you see Mystery House. So that's quite an old school game. Time Zone. And here you see others. Yeah, this is Mother Goose, which, like I said, I really loved. Uh, yeah, although I had an older version. Graphics looked older than that. And here you see some screenshots of the King's Quest games. Uh, for instance, here you see King's Quest 1, and this is King's Quest 7. So you could see how that evolved throughout the years. And Phantasmagoria, which is a horror FMV game. So let's slide it open and see what's inside. The game, we'll get to that last. A catalog and a book. So, first the catalog. This is in German, by the way, I'm not sure why, because this is the English version. Shows what games uh, came out at that time Lighthouse, Phantasmagoria 2, Phantasmagoria 1. And I actually sometimes use these catalogs to see what kind of games I had as a kid that I don't remember having, or that I don't remember the names of. For instance, I had this point and click adventure game slash uh, FMV game and I do remember how it played but I have no clue what game it was and usually when I buy a PC game I just check out these uh, these folders and hope to find the game that I had as a kid but till this day I still haven't found it so the book Sierra of uh, Roberta Williams anthology it's uh, an introduction by Ken Williams and I believe he's one of the co-founders of Sierra as well but my history on PC games is not that good, so correct me if I'm wrong here. So let's zoom out a bit so we can get a better view. This is Roberta Williams behind her really cool PC. This is a timeline. How to load and run an Apple game. Mystery House Time Zone, here you see the original artwork. And then a write up on the game. How to load them. And some backstory on the games. Let's skip fast forward. Some more information about Roberta herself. King's Quest games. And these are the last few games. So it's a semi-manual, semi-book uh, on, on her work. And then finally, the game itself still has a sticker on the front that I forgot to clean off. 14 games and it has 1, 2, 3, 4, Let's see if there's a disc behind here. No, it has 4 discs, so 14 games on 4 discs. And it's a Windows 95, Windows 3.1 game. So, that was the Roberta Williams Anthology, like I said, quite a hard to find uh, PC game, and just because of the sheer quality it has in, in big numbers, it usually goes for, uh, for a big amount as well. So, thanks for watching, be sure to check out my other videos and like me on Facebook, like I said, facebook.com slash drretromd, and see you next time, bye bye.